click the bell icon to get latest videos from ekida Hello friends, in the previous lecture we have discussed about the preparation as well as properties of phosphorus trichloride and in this topic we are going to talk about the preparation and properties of phosphorus pentachloride. So what are those reactions? Let me talk about that in this lecture. So friends, now let me talk about the preparation of phosphorus pentachloride. So in this case, we have basically few reactions. So among that, let me talk about the first one. That is, whenever a white phosphorus, that is P4, is reacted with excess amount of chlorine, that is 10 moles of Cl2. So in this case, basically the product that is what we could get is 4 moles of PCl5. So this is one of the method to prepare PCl5, that is phosphorus pentachloride. So now let me talk about the next reaction. When white phosphorus, that is P4, it is reacted with 10 moles of SO2Cl2, that is sulfuryl chloride. Right. So that's why it will form that is 4 moles of PCl5 along with that of 10 moles of SO2. So therefore, these are the two methods where we can obtain PCl5. So therefore, this was the reaction and now let me talk about the chemical properties of PCl5. So talking about the properties of PCl5, PCl5 is in fact a yellow whitish powder and it sublimes below 373 Kelvin. So there are certain chemical reactions that is what I am going to talk about related to the PCl5. So talking about the first one that is whenever PCl5 is reacted with water so it forms pocl3 that is phosphorus oxychloride along with that of two moles of hcl so this on further reaction with water it forms that is h3po4 that is nothing but phosphoric acid along with that of three moles of hcl but these are the two reactions that is what i have mentioned here so now let us move to the next one that is pcl5 which is basically very sublime at that is 373 Kelvin that is below 373 Kelvin but if we strongly heat it this PCL5 it will be converted into PCL3 and Cl2 so this is how basically we can prepare PCL3 also so therefore on decomposition PCL5 gives us the chloride molecule along with that of PCL3 so this were the few properties and now let me talk about the next reactions also so in that case we can get that is HDA that is halogen derivative of alkane in this case it is alkane and basically known as ethyl chloride along with that of POCl3 and HCl as a byproduct. And talking about the next one, suppose if it is reacted with organic acids like acetic acid, when acetic acid is treated with PCl5, so that for the following product that is what we could get is CH3COCl that is known as acetyl chloride along with that of POCl3 and HCl as a byproduct. So therefore this were the two reactions and now let me talk about the last one. Phosphorus pentachloride is very much reactive to metals. So in this case, basically PCl5, whenever it is reacted with silver, that is two moles of Ag. So therefore the product that is what we could get is two moles of AgCl along with that of PCl3. So talking about the next one, whenever PCl5 is treated with tin. So when tin it's reacted with PCl5, it forms SnCl4 along with that of two moles of PCl3. That is, this is known as stannous chloride. So this were some properties of that is phosphorus pentachloride and that's it. So thank you friends for watching this video. I hope in this lecture you have got to know that is how basically PCl5 is being prepared and what are the different properties of PCl5. So I hope I will see you next time. Till then don't forget to subscribe to channel. Thank you so much.